Bismillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Wa min attabam bihsani ila yawmidini Amma ba'd to proceed In our next lesson We want to speak about Ismu inna again Continue the discussion The reason being is because we now need to speak about Khabaru inna In our previous lessons we introduced the uh, rulings regarding uh, inna wa khawatuha, then we spoke about the ismu inna in more detail, and now we need to speak about khabaru inna. So, where do we begin? We know that the khabaru inna can be of different types, whereas the ismu inna can only be ismun sarihun, a clear ismun, in relation to the khabaru inna that can be of different types so our title therefore is ashkalu ashkalu khabari khabari inna ashkal is al jam'u the plural of shaklun meaning form so the forms of khabari in uh, of al khabar for in so what can the khabaru in comprise of we know it can comprise of an ismun which is sarihun so we know that number one the most common one ismun sarihun so we first type therefore of khabaru inna is ismun sarihun it is an ismun which is clear an example therefore you can say inna al walada tawilun inna al walada tawilun in this instance if we write that on the board inna al walada here we have khabaru inna which is an ismun sarihun and it is mufradun if however we change our sentence to inna al wala dani and then it of course it would be inna al wala dani why because it now has to be uh, mansubun Waladaini inna al waladaini. Then we would say tawilani. So our is khabaru uh, inna in this instance is it's still an ismun sarihun, but in this instance it is al muthanna. It is the dual form. And similarly, if we wanted to use the plural. We can say inna al awlada inna al awlada and the, the, the plural form of tawilun is tiwalun tiwalun inna al awlada tiwalun the point to note in those three in examples we had tawilun we had tawilani and we had tiwalun the first is singular the second is al muthanna the dual and the third is al jam'u the plural our khabaru inna can be all of those that's the first point to note regarding the khabaru inna in relation to ismun sarihun what else can the khabaru inna comprise of well, it can be a jumlatul fa'liya, as we've already seen. It can therefore be al jumla tu al fa'liya tu. Our khabaru inna can be a jumlatul fa'liya. For example, if we said inna al Ilma Yenfa Yenfa 
Ooh. And uh, set. In al ilma yan fa'u an Here we begin with in harfun mushabbihun bil fi'l. Al ilma is ismu in it has to be mansubun. Right, so that is our harfun. This is our uh, ismun. Not sure why I wrote it like that. Ismun. Ismun. So what therefore is our khabaru in khabarun? It is this. Why is it this? Because we're now speaking about al jumlatul fa'liya and al jumlatul fa'liya in this instance is yanfa'u an nasa. Yanfa'u nasa means it benefits an nasa the people. But what's interesting about this? Well, in relation to al irabu, we know that al ilma is mansubun. Wa alamatu nasbihi, the indicator for it being mansubun is al fathatu al zahiratu ala akhirihi. However, yanfa'u nasa, what is yanfa'u? It's fi'lun, mudari'un, marfu'un. The indicator that it is marfu'un is al dhammatu al zahiratu ala akhirihi. Al nasa, Oh, we forgot to mention fa'ilun mustatirun taqdiruhu huwa. It's fa'ilun is hidden, it's assumed to be huwa. And an-nasa. An-nasa means the people. However, what is it here? It is maf'ulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al-fathatu al-zahiratu wa al-akhiri. However, al jumla, the sentence, yanfa wa nasa, al jumla, we say, fi mahalli raf in, fi mahalli raf in, khabaru in. So I said that al jumla, because what we're talking about is al jumla to, fi mahalli nas bin. Khabaru, khabaru in uh, that is how we would describe yanfa'u al nasa that al jumla fi mahalli nasbin khabaru in. Why did we mention that example? Because we wanted to illustrate where. The khabaru in can be al jumlatul fi'liya. Again, inshallah ta'ala, it's not particularly complicated. Many of these principles we have already discussed at some point in our previous lessons. So, what else can constitute a khabar in uh, al jumlatul al ismiya? Preceded by in well, it can also be al jumla to al ismiya itself. So the khabar can be al jumla to al ismiya to al jumla to ismiya. For example, we can say araftu. What does araftu mean? It means I knew or I learnt. Anna atta araftu anna atta What does it mean up to this point? It means I learnt or I became aware anna that atta Actually, that should be indeed that. Al-Taliba Hifdhuhu Hifdhuhu Qawiyun Qawiyun What does that mean? Hifdhuhu means his memory That's in the Dafatun Hifdhuhu Qawiyun means strong 
عرفت أن الطالب I learned that the student حفظه his memory is قوي and why did we mention this example to illustrate that الجملة الاسمية can be خبر إن so let's break it down عرفت that's فعل ماضي we know that uh, I became aware أن is a حرف so we'll write حرف here الطالبة is اسم إن so write اسم here now this is the interesting bit حفظه قوي حفظه قوي is الجملة الاسمية it comprises of المبتدأ and الخبر so this is المبتدأ and this is الخبر خبر however together they are the خبر إن أن and that's interesting isn't it that the خبر أن is الجملة الاسمية which itself comprises of المبتدأ and الخبر and المبتدأ is an إضافة we have مضاف مضاف إليه so how do we explain it grammatically or how do we describe it well we say that al-jumla here that the sentence and the one that we're talking about is the hifduhu uh, qawiyun al-jumla we say fi mahalli raf in khabaru in yeah that's not very good khabar khabaru khabaru anna we're talking about anna here that's how we would describe hifdhu qawiyun so the first part is straightforward anna is a harfun a taliba is ismu anna that's mansubun the indicate it's mansubun is al fatha to al dahira to al akhirihi hawa hifdhu that's mudafun mudafun ilayhi fi mahalli jarrin bil idafati qawiyun is khabarun marfuun the indicate it as marfuun is tanwinu dammin However, al jumla of al mubtadan khabar fi mahali raf in khabaru anna. We hope, inshallah ta'ala, that that is clear. So, to mention, therefore, another example or two, what else could we say? We could say later, using later. Does later mean? It is for atamani later ashababa later huh? shababa what does ashababa mean it means youthhood the period of being a youth later ashababa ayamuhu ayamuhu aidatun a in meaning, it is later shababu ayyam hu'aidatun Would that youthhood, its days return? Of course, that's not going to happen. But the point to note is that here, later is a harfun, mushabihun bil fa'al. A shabab is, it is the ismu later. It is mansuban, the indicator it is mansuban is al fatta to al dahira to al akhirihi. However, here, this is the Arabun, and it's the same Arabun of our previous sentence. Why? Because ayyamuhu is al mubtada'u, which comprises of the mudafun and the mudafun ilayhi. Actually, al mubtada'u is the ayyamu bit. The who is a damir mutasilun and it's mudafun alayhi fi mahalli jarrin bil idafati. Aidatun is the khabaru of al mubtada'u hina. But 
together they comprise of the khabaru later how would we describe it we'd say that al jumla just like in the previous example al jumla fi mahalli rafin khabaru later we hope that in our example which is the same as our previous one except that the only difference is of course that we are mentioning uh, different words and we used later so that again is an example of al jumla al ismiya that compro that is khabaru uh, khabaru in right so so far we have seen that the khabaru in it can be an ismun sarihun it can be al jumla al fa'liyatu it can be al jumla al ismiya what is the, the the fourth and the final type of khabaru inna that we can have it is shibhul jumlati the that phrase that we've used frequently shibhul jumlati what does shibhul jumlati mean it means a prepositional phrase or a phrase that comprises of a harfu jarrin and an ismun or a dharfun and an ismun for example if we say in al ilma fi sudur sudur In al ilm, indeed, knowledge or literally the knowledge, fi in a sudur. A sudur is the heart. It's also used to mean chess. It's a plural of sudur. So, a sudur here it relates to the hearts. But why is this significant? Because inna is a harfun. Harfun al ilma is the ismu inna ismu inna, and then we have fi sudur. Well, we know that fi is a harfun harfu jarrin, and a sudur is. Ismun majrurun. Ismun majrurun. Or you can say jarun wa majrurun. However, together these two comprise of the khabaru inna. Khabaru inna. Because this is our fourth type of khabaru that you can have. One that comprises of shibhul jumlati, which is a harfu jar and an ismun fi suduri. How would we describe it? We'd say that the shibhul jumlati fi mahalli. So we said that the shibhul jumlati fi mahalli. Fi mahalli raf in. Raf in. And it would be khabaru. In khabaru in that's how we would describe it and there are numerous examples that we could mention we'll mention one of a dharf for so that's clear too inshallah ta'ala so we could say therefore that later al khayra indaka Later, al khayra al khayra indica. So, if we were speaking to somebody who we didn't have much hope in for any uh, good to be present or be produced from, we could say indica later would that al khayra the good indica is with you. Indica here. Indica here is shibhul jumlati. We don't have a harfu jar, but what we do have is a dharfun. This is a dharfun, and the kaf here is 
Damirun Muttasilun and together they comprise of Shibhul Jumlati and they are together they comprise of Shibhul Jumlati and together they are Al Khabaru. They are the Al Khabaru of later. So we have four types therefore of Khabaru in. We have the ismun which is sarihun, we have al jumlatul fa'liya, which we know we have al jumlatul ismiya, and we have shibhul jumlati. All of these four can constitute the khabaru inna. The only point that we need to mention regarding the shibhul jumlati is it's allowed, and in effect, it's very common that when your khabaru uh, in or indeed even in a normal jumla to when your khabar comprises of shibhul jumla t then it's allowed to bring that forward so you can say in deka in deka al khaira in fact you'll see many examples of this in Al Quran and in the Sunnah later in Deka Al Khaira later in Deka Al Khaira. Exception to this rule about bringing forward Al Khabaru if it comprises of Shibhul Jumlati and delaying the Ismu is if your Jumla includes what they what we call Lamul Ibtida. If it has Lamul Ibtida, then it's not allowed to bring it forward. And Lamul Ibtida will explain in more detail, but just to give you an example, if we say in Ashuja, what does Ashuja Ata mean? Ashuja Ata means bravery. Lamu libtidaisis la fi, and it can be connected to a harfu jar, and it can be connected to an isman too. La fi, and then we can say qawlul qawl al haqqa. La fi inna shuja'ata la fi qawlul haqqi, and that's an idafak tongue. Right. So here is an example of a jumla that contains what we say Lamul Ibtida. Uh, it's Al Ibtida is, is to begin a sentence, but there are certain rules related to it that we'll explain in a future lesson, inshallah ta'ala. But the point to note is because this sentence contains Lamul Ibtida, it's not allowed to bring forward the Shibhul Jumlati and place it after inna and delay al, uh, al isma as we've seen in previous examples you can say for example inna fi inna fil aqwali aq walin inna fi aqwalin hikmah Hikmatan Hikmatan Inna indeed Fi in aqwalin Statements Hikmatan is Knowledge or wisdom rather Inna fi aqwalin Hikmatan indeed in Statements is wisdom Here's an example Where we've brought forward Al khabar That comprises of shibhul jumlati which is Jarun wa Majrurun and the Ismu Inna has been delayed. However, that's allowed except where your Jumla contains Lamun Ibtida, where it cannot be brought forward. But that's a minor point. If that's not completely understood, then there's no need to concern yourself because it will be explained in more detail in a future lesson, inshallah ta'ala.
That therefore is all that we wanted to say regarding this subject. We hope bi'ithnillahi ta'ala you have understood that and found it beneficial. We'll conclude on that point. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.